Hi everyone. Today is um, Thursday, February 27, and um, I'm not sure what to call this video, but I think I'm going to call it something like um, "Mental Health Abuse of Muslim Males." And um, I was just actually going through some stuff, and um, I began to remember a situation where I met this person who is Muslim and he was also male and he was like Arab, kind of an Arab um, background. Anyways, this man was in tears. He was in tears. Clearly his face was flushed. He was shaking, clearly uncomfortable. So I talked to him and I said, you know, what's going on, right? And he said to me that um, he was actually held in um, a pharmaceutical uh, incarceration unit and um, one of these places is actually called um, you know I think to myself should I even mention their name to give them free advertising on the other hand I think maybe people should really know about these organizations and call them up and say why the fuck are you doing this so anyways I'll put it down in my notes um, like down below in the video or whatever but um, so this man was in tears and I felt I felt so bad, like I was like, oh my god, like I've never, I was just so moved by this. And, and so I said, what's going on? And what he was expressing to me was that he doesn't take pharmaceuticals for sadness issues. And he was actually in um, a place where he was separated from his wife. And his wife actually, I can't remember what country it was, but his wife was in another country and he was actually somewhere else. So he was missing her. And that's normal, like, of course you're going to miss your lover, your, you know, your, your heart or whatever, your second heart or whatever. But what they were doing to him was they were actually pumping pharmaceuticals in him. And he also had a little bit of, um, like, a language um, translation difference. So what had happened was... Um, I talked to him and he said, you know, they keep on giving me these pharmaceuticals and he's crying and stuff and he says, you know, I don't want any more. I don't want any more because this thing is making me, and he was talking about a lot of stuff where um, it comes to like seeing hallucinating and getting like buzzing sensations in, um, you know, his consciousness and stuff. So clearly something was wrong and you know what was re really sick was... Um, I actually went to these people because I said, okay, I'll go over there and talk to them, right? And uh, I just said to them, listen, you know, um, I'm just here to let you know that someone is not comfortable with what you're doing. Now, I speak English very clearly and I understand that you're not a dummy, but uh, why don't you stop abusing this man? He's saying no to you. And why do you guys keep on you know, pumping him with more pharmaceuticals. You're trying A, B, C, D, E. And, um, they kind of looked at me like, you know, who the fuck are you, nigger, and this sort of thing, right? Like, this is, this is how this, like, um, medicalization sector thing works. Like, they're really sick people. And, um, I, I just, I just thought to share that with you. So, you know, try and speak up for that person who's actually being abused. And uh, this was actually an abused male. And, um, you know, I just, it's funny because I was just going through some information and I was looking through my notes and stuff and I was like, oh yeah, I remember him. And, uh, you know, I have his phone number and stuff. So I'm also going to call him up and see how he's doing. But he also explained to me some of his, um, his practices related to his country and also related to his religion. And um, I'm not from the same religion as him, but that doesn't mean that I can't, you know, speak up for a fellow person who's being abused. So I just wanted to say, if there's something that you see, you know what, please speak up for this thing, but do it in like a matrix way, like do it as a multiple response. So talk, write, do something else. like. Find out at least three, four ways to respond to the same issue. Make it five. One finger. Or one hand, I should say. And um, address this stuff because it's really, really serious. Very serious. And they just keep on going on and on and on. And, you know, like I noticed for myself too, like, um, you know, when I see certain things, you just kind of, you know, and then 
I have to restart, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, right? And, um, you know, like this Muslim person who's a male, it really, really, it really, really hurt my heart. Because when you see a man upset like that, and then the tears and stuff, and then, you know, flesh in his face, and like red face and stuff, I don't know. I didn't like looking at that. And you know what? These pharmaceutical rats actually laugh at things like that. So, um, you know, just step up for your fellow person. Even if that person is not of the same persuasion as you, what's wrong is wrong. Violence is violence. Okay? Thanks for listening. And if you have any comments, uh, please do share your experiences. And, you know, um, just to let you know, like a lot of these uh, pharmaceutical researchers, they actually have no ethics, and um, they like to read like narratives, and then what they do is they copy and paste these narratives and put them into their research and all kinds of like unethical things. And you know what? Let them go and do what they're doing, but you come with an approach where you say, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to address that in this way. So configure a response that works for you and uh, thanks for watching and uh, the, the comments are appreciated and you know what I, I don't care if you're this way or that way you know what just express your position and even if it differs from mine that's fine okay thanks for watching bye